again and welcome to the rain in part two. I decided that I would probably like to work on my sky a little bit and um, I have colors that I like and I want to play with them and I may or may not work out well but uh, I guess you'll find out when I do. I got stuff to put behind me. I haven't put any stars in. I am beginning to get water bouncing off of me behind me so that'll be interesting. I'm going to put some, I'm going to use my black, my meat is black, my dark purple, and some of that fresh and blue, because I can. The name of my book I forgot to mention in the last recording, and that was straight, straight flow troll, but um, because it's already black, it's not going to make any difference. I wish I'd quit doing that though. Put some real pain in there. Alright, so I'm going to grab my OXO omelet turning spatula. And maybe some of the cells will pop. And they'll look like stars anyway. I suspect as much. I did say it was going to rain. I kind of warned you. And I like I like the black sky plane, so if you did too, don't fault me for doing this. I just needed to know if it would look good, and I think it does. But I needed to know. So I gave myself permission. Permission is a good thing for me. It might only be a minute anyway. That's right. hardly going to show. Didn't put any more of that silver I used in the last episode in. And I don't think it matters if I don't fill, finish filling in. I, I kind of like to not have the water be bouncing off the artwork or that bug in there. Hi, bug. Um, I'm going to check my edges and let the paint run down and figure that that's going to probably dry matte. I'm going to look for any bubbles. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't usually get any uh, selling with blue except for the Prussian blue and I had some of that in there. I'd like to kind of force myself to stop pulling this spatula across, but it's not going to get gummy with all this water in the air. Um, I would like the bugs to stay out though. So I'm going to leave that be, take a quick torch to it, and stand between me and the water falling down the back of the building roof. I think when you use the spatula a lot of times, let me turn that down, way down, you don't, um, you don't have as many air bubbles because you're flattening them out with the spatula. So I would like the rain to stop now. But I guess it'll stop when it wants to. I know the moon could be silver or gold, and I made it gold. I just like the contrast of that. If I try and sneak this painting into my other room, I'm going to be in trouble. I've got water everywhere! I'm going to see what you can see. I want to try some stars. Okay, so let's just do that since I'm here. Put a little bit of silver right in there and drag it out. And just put a few in. That is the pointy end of that skewer. I love that little cloud. I kind of want to put more in, but I think that might be enough best left for another time. It doesn't have to be all stars. It probably didn't have to be any. Because I thought it was really nice the way it was. But I figure you're here, I'm here, and the water's all over the back of my legs. <laughs> so you might as well keep me company while I finish. 
have a quick look at that. See if there's any place that I really want to put more. Make sure my moon is nice and round. Yeah, I did. I put a little gold reflection from the moon right there. And I'm inclined to do it again. So I'm going to put some gold paint right on my skewer. Make a reflection from the moon. Because I can enable my book on the Amazon link. So I kind of like how that looks. Put a little bit over there on that cloud. Because I can. Come on off. There we go. So I've got a little bit of gold on my cloud on the end. And I think I'm going to call that good. If I want more stars, it's not like it's really going to be a huge chore to put them on there. It used silver. You can hear that thunder. Probably good if I tried to... Oh, I have something I can cover my painting with to get it inside. Okay, well, you know what? I'm out of here before something hits me, like lightning maybe. I love you guys. Um, and I appreciate you, and I want to say thank you for all the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. And all the wonderful comments you give me every day. I think I was a little distracted by the rain in, my, in the end of part one, so um, I'll make sure to tell you guys that. If you want to ask me questions, please feel free to ask me questions, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. There are two Facebook groups, uh, one for students and one for fans and collectors, and bo they both begin with Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Appreciation Group is the first one, and Fans and Collectors is the second one. So if you're interested in any artwork, please contact me through YouTube, and I will give you an email address. It's E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery, at gmail.com. If you want lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, just ask me if you're in Florida or you're going to be visiting Florida, and uh, we'll figure it out. I'll let you know the prices. I love you guys dearly. It's time for me to go. Bye now. Priscilla out in Spring Hill, Florida weather. Ha! In the backyard. Wow, I didn't need a shower. Okay, bye now. I love you guys.